Hi everybody, today's focus, I am testing out the Bissell Crosswave Pet Pro. Little story time here. So for Christmas this year, my oldest son purchased me a Bissell Crosswave Pet Pro, and I am super excited to open this box and to test it out. So in this video, I'm gonna unbox it, use it around my home, and give you a review on how well I think the Bissell Crosswave works. This video is also a viewer request. Aliveism said, I would love to see you do testing on the Bissell Mop Vacuum to see if the vacuum will actually mop clean. Most appreciated, love what you do. So let's just get started and see how well the Crosswave Pet Pro cleans my home.
First of all, I am extremely impressed with how well the Crosswave picks up dirt in my home. I am actually rather horrified at how much dirt was actually on my floors. I regularly sweep and either use the Shark Steam Mop or my Oceder Mop to clean the floors. However, we can see by using this Crosswave that they are not picking up a lot of the dirt. I do have a video about the Shark Steam Mop and the Oceder Mop and I'll put the link to that in the description if you're interested in that. I do focus on their ability to remove bacteria in that video. You know when you vacuum and let's say you have like an area rug or something on the floor or even if it's just like a blanket or something on the floor and you know how close you can get to that uh, rug or blanket or anything on the floor before it will get sucked into the vacuum cleaner, right? And it's usually a bit of a space, right? You usually can get pretty close up to it before, you, before it's going to get sucked up into the vacuum cleaner. Well, this thing, I was completely shocked because I was um, vacuuming around my Christmas tree that has the little skirt on underneath it, and it sucked up the Christmas tree skirt. I don't even feel like I was that close to it, and it sucked it right up. So the suction is super, super, super powerful. Um, I found it was able to just like suck up crumbs before I was even getting close to it. So I'm really impressed with its vacuum cleaning power. It's also really easy to use. It's not super heavy. It rolls very nice. It's a very easy roll as you're vacuuming, pressing the buttons, releasing the water, sucking it up. It was all very, very easy to use. So here's something that I found to be both a pro and a con for the Bissell Crosswave. When it comes to picking up long hair, uh, you saw in the picture with all the dirt, and I'll put, it, I'll put it back over here so you can see it. It was able to suck up a ton of hair and it kind of tangled it all together in the dirt clump. Uh, and so that was incredible. So that was my pro part, right? It was able to suck up a ton of hair. The con though is that it does get wrapped around the roller. Now this reminds me of my Roomba. That I have to take it apart, get scissors, cut the hair out, and I had to do the same thing for this Bissell roller. So the hair gets tangled up all underneath here in the body of the, of the roller and on this end also. It gets really, really, really tangled. So I had a lot of hair wound tightly around this end here and around this end here. My Shark Navigator does not do that. You know, I have a review on that. That was like the first video I ever made. It was a review of my Shark Navigator. And that, I don't know how it works, but the hair does not get tangled on the roller ever. So the next con is really more of an ergonomic complaint. And that is that as I'm cleaning, my thumb wants to rest right on the power button. <laughs> right where it says hard floor or area rug. Like my thumb just naturally wants to rest there. So I found myself shutting off the Crosswave quite a few times as I was cleaning because I just naturally want to put my hand on it and lay it there. And as I'm squeezing the trigger, I guess my hand just like naturally wants to press down. And I was shutting it off mid cleaning, which I really didn't want to do. So I kind of wish that they had the on off button, not on the top where you want to rest your thumb, maybe on the side or maybe on just a different part of the crossway. It's not a deal breaker at all. It's just a little annoyance that bothered me. I'm not even certain I want to call this a con, but it does take a while to clean the crossway when you're done using it. Now, I think my house is a bit dirtier than most people's homes because we live on a construction site. If you watch some of my other videos, you know that we are building a house. So we have uh, a lot of sand, like it's not finished around the property. So people track in a lot of sand when they come in the house. My husband doesn't always take off his work boots when he's coming inside, if he just needs to come in and grab a tool or something. So he does track in a lot of sand. And I found that the Bissell, it picked up a ton of sand, which is a huge pro a huge pro. So when I went to do the self-cleaning of the rollers, I had to do that, I don't know, maybe six or eight times. I do think though, in order to help not get so much large sediment in the crossway, because I don't want to put this down my sink. That's another thing I should say. I have a septic system. And so since the Crosswave did collect a ton of sand. I was emptying the dirty water into a bucket and throwing it outside.
because I just don't want to put that down into my septic tank because, you know, story time here. When we lived in a rental, one day we came home from the beach and I had my kids just like take showers uh, quickly to just get all the sand and water off them after we came home from the beach. And when I went into the bathroom, the tub had a ton of sand in it. And I was like, oh, whatever, you know, and I just rinsed it down the drain. I didn't think anything of it. Shortly after that, the septic had a backup and it was because of the filter was clogged. Now, when the guys came to fix the filter, they didn't say, oh, it was because of the sand. I mean, it hadn't been serviced in, I think they had said at least five or 10 years. So it was probably a buildup of a lot of stuff, but I do not want to deliberately put anything down my drain that could potentially clog my septic filter. I do not need to deal with septic issues. So I am rinsing mine in a bucket now in throwing that water outside. So one thing I did not test is how well it removes bacteria from floors. If you watch my channel, you know that I do a lot of bacteria testing on products. Now this Crosswave and the formula they provided in the packaging has no claims whatsoever of being able to remove bacteria. However, they do have on their website a sanitizing formula and I did order some. So I will be testing the Bissell Crosswave's ability to remove bacteria using that sanitizing formula once it gets delivered to my home. So all in all, I'm super happy with the Bissell Crosswave Pet Pro. I absolutely love it. I'm gonna continue using it. Maybe in a couple of months, I'll give an update on how it's going and I will get back to you with the sanitizing test to see how well it removes bacteria when you use the special sanitizing formula. I think I am saving time by using the Crosswave and I think it just does a superior job to sweeping and mopping, sweeping and steam cleaning, vacuuming and steam cleaning, vacuuming and mopping, which, are, which is what I have been doing in the past. If you have a Bissell Crosswave, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Is there something that you really like about it or is there something that really annoys you about it? If there's a product that you would like me to test out, do me a favor and put it in the comments section. I'd be more than happy to put it on my viewer request list. Take care. Have yourselves a great day.